Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Full Count Baseball is a baseball game I got for my son. Yeah, I was kind of bought it on a lark. We were looking for a little abstracted, you know, I didn't need Stratomatic. I need something with a bunch of stats. We wanted something simple. He has a love for baseball that we could play together, and this really hits the mark. This one is a nine-inning game, but every batter that comes up has a 3-2 count. So oh, they're going to play a card, and the card will tell you what the result is, either out or hit or double or home run or whatever it is. These are rally cards that shift things up. So it's really kind of a mind thing. What do I think he's going to throw as the pitch? What do I think he's going to ha- who's going to have a hit? And then the cards will tell you what happens when you put them together. Excellent. I find this game to be really fun. It does abstract baseball out a little bit. It includes all the major league teams, none of the players. But if your favorite team is the Yankees or the Rockies or whatever, it's in the game. And I think that's a huge plus for this. So you don't have to worry about your kid liking a team that's not very popular like the Marlins or the Brewers. They're still going to be in here. So it's excellent use. Game is very easy to teach. I'm able to play with my son. I think we started playing around six years old, and the game worked fine. Very easy. Doesn't drag on too long. Every time I pull it out, he likes to play it. Huge win for me. Here's Full Count Baseball, the ultimate baseball board game is what it's called. I'm going to open it up, and you will get a scoreboard here that you'll have, so you'll be able to go through the whole nine innings of the game. You'll get a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. We'll set the board aside. We'll take a look at it. Oh, this got a little bit mixed up. But uh, you're going to have a set of cards here. And you're going to have a rally cards, which are like your event cards. These are a little thin, I'll be honest, but they're okay. They do have a nice little finish to them. The away batters, the away pitchers, and you get the home pitchers and home batter cards. So these will be in red and blue. You can see on the side here, they just have like a... Well, it's like a spreadsheet about what will happen. And then you're going to have um, four chits for each team. So every team is included in here. So whatever your favorite team is will be included here. And you'll get four for each one, which is what you'll need. A six-sided die that will come in here. And you're going to get a dry erase board. And this will be used to keep score on this marker right here. So but actually, this all fits in really nice. The insert is actually really nice. I think it just got dumped upside down. But there is a place for everything in here. And all these little... Um, the places for your base runners is basically what they are is in there inside. Nice. Then you're going to open up the board and you're going to see a full baseball field that will be here. And what you're going to get is a place to put the cards, which is all nice. But for the most part, uh, you're going to be utilizing these things to, just to kind of run around the bases, etc. You track how many outs you have down here, but it's a nice little setup that you have here. And it all works. It looks like a baseball field. You can see this, uh, the people in the stands, etc. And it works out very nice. Here you get a rule book. It's fine. The contents is very small font. You're going to have the setup over here and then how to play inside, how to utilize all the cards that come with it. Uh, this is all the pictures that you get, but for the most part, uh, very wordy, right? And the card breakdown of what should be in each deck, which is just very handy. I wish more games had something like this. And then uh, just the logo that you have there. So this is pretty much the game. Very easy. Probably sit down and need about 15 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes to read this, and you'll be up and running with no problems whatsoever. So setup is pretty easy. You put the scoreboard over here with the pen, and you can keep score as you're ready. Every team's going to get two rally cards, which you'll have uh, in your disposal. You'll have your batter cards and your pitcher cards, and you can just shuffle the rest of the rally cards and have it set up there. Now everybody will get four of their tokens for their team, and you can just set them aside right here. So your cards will be in your hand, but I'm showing you where they're at on the field, just so you can kind of see how setup will begin. Very easy, and you have your six-sided dice set aside. So what's going to happen is, is each batter is going to come up with a 3-2 count, so something's going to happen. So the pitcher and the batter, they will pick cards at the same time. The uh, pitcher can see he's throwing a slider, and a rookie is up, so he will fly out. If you look over here, the rookie is a slider to fly out. So they're going to match up exactly as they should be. So that means that uh, you do this over here for one out, and now there's one out because he flew out. The batter will then discard his card. That's why there's a discard here, and the pitcher will get the card back in his hand. He can throw another slider if he so chooses. And then the batter will choose another card, and the pitcher will uh, choose another card. Let's say he want to throw a curveball this time to the RBI guy. He'll fly out also. The RBI guy will signify the same thing. They'll both fly out, and you'll go up to two outs, and that's how the game is played. So each person will be able to just pick a card. I remember the, the uh, batter, will, because everybody only bats once, will fly out. Now, once this deck is done, you'll get your cards back, 
and that will be fine. And the pitchers can keep pitching over and over again. And you'll continue doing this through the whole game. So, you know, top of first, the bottom, top, 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 until you have a winner or a loser. In addition to that, you're going to have some of these rally cards that you can pick. These are just like special event cards. So you can play this for pickoff. So if uh, must have at least one base runner, you declare which base, and you try to pick, uh, pick them off, and then you would roll the die. I rolled a five, so I'd go down here. It says base runner safe, and then I would discard this card. This has a rundown. Must have one or more base runners, roll the die, and get the result. So there's a ton of these that you can play through. you got a super rally, which will help you uh, draw more cards. A pick off, a sacrifice, a pinch hitter can come in, so some more likely to get a hit. A double steal if they're on base. So some of those baseball plays will be done through this rally deck. And you'll be gaining cards of that uh, each time in each round as you go through. And that's pretty much how you play. So if somebody were to get a hit, you would just track it here. If they got like a two-bagger, then the guy would move two bases in addition. So if you got everybody's, so the base runners are going to get the number of bases that the hitter gets. So in this case, if the hitter were to hit a double, then this guy would move two bases, and this guy would be two bases, and he would score runs. Once again, you're keeping track of it on this every time somebody scores a run. After you get through the full nine innings, or however many innings you want to play, whoever has the most runs is your winner. And that's how you play four count baseball. Who should buy this game? I don't know if it has much of an appeal outside of baseball fans. I think you need the, the rules are going to teach you the rules of baseball. So you need to understand, you know, ground the bases and you score a run and how outs are and what a ground out is and a fly out, at least a vague sense of what an out it is. Otherwise, I mean, the hand, the, the, the Cat and mouse game with the cards is pretty interesting. I don't know that you can exactly get that anywhere else. I think it works fine here. I have a hard time recommending it to people who aren't baseball fans. Uh, I think a small percentage of the people will enjoy this game that aren't baseball fans. Otherwise, if you're looking for a baseball game to play with your children, you want something that plays a nine-inning game, it has all the teams represented it, and you're playing that cat and mouse game with the cards, and it moves rather quickly for a baseball game. Uh, I think it works fine. Abstracts a lot of things out, but it works great here. If you're looking for something to play with your child, this could very easily be it. We've had a tremendous amount of fun with it. Not an excellent game, not the best game in the market. It's not going to blow your socks off. But for a baseball fan, I think it works, and it keeps it simple. And uh, full count baseball will accomplish that for you also. For us, it's absolute keeper.